right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Cheap Eats. And on this week's episode, we are checking out Rhode Island's third annual Veg Fest. Now I'm talking all things vegan that includes food, businesses, and beverages. I already stepped inside and checked out Japati, where I got this Jamaican patty for $7. But there are also a lot of other affordable eateries inside. We're gonna go ahead and step in and check them out. Rhode Island Veg Fest is a two-day event at the Waterfire Arts Center in Providence, featuring more than 85 local and national vegan and vegan-friendly brands from 10 different states. I checked out some of the local vendors like Plant City, Basil and Bunny, where these ladies got these hot dogs, and there was Thrive Tribe Cafe with the crepes, arepas, and more. Uh, it's exciting, it's a lot of energy. Uh, it's nice to just share and, and see what other people are bringing. It's so diverse, there's so many uh, neat products and foods. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Jessica Xavier is with Thrive Tribe Cafe, a vegan and intermystical cafe located in Barrington. So we've blended uh, a healing atmosphere and healing energy into comfort foods, uh, vegan comfort foods. Uh, we believe in uh, like our, our karmic uh, nature. So we've cultivated uh, a healing space <laughs> uh, for people to enjoy good coffee, nice espresso drinks. I also stopped by Wildflower Bakery where you could sample free baked goods. I have a mini cupcake here from Wildflower Vegan Bakery and Cafe. This one does have gluten in it. However, they do have gluten-free options as well as so many other eateries here. They also made this awesome VegFest cake. Pretty sweet. You could buy anything from books to packaged food products that you could take home and delicious beverages. I have been vegan for a couple years and it's so fun to see that there's so many new products and small businesses um, and it's just great to be able to taste things that I missed from before when before I was vegan. So it's so fun to come and see all the exciting things. I couldn't indulge in the alcoholic beverages so I opted for the cold pressed juices from Fully Rooted. So Fully Rooted started 10 years, almost 10 years ago, and we started juicing at farmer's markets right on site. Now we have a commercial kitchen in Pawtucket. A Fully Rooted hooked us up here with one of their cold pressed juices. This is the Echinacea Sunrise. In it you have orange, pineapple, cucumber, beet, and echinacea extract. Now the cup is 12 ounces, that's gonna cost you $8, and then you have your bottle here, 16 ounces, 10.50, and it tastes amazing. Rhode Island Veg Fest founder Robin Dion created this to promote a fun and compassionate plant-based vegan lifestyle here in Rhode Island, and it looks like it's paying off. Rhode Island Veg Fest really offers us an opportunity to be able to get out into the community and share our product with everyone and meet new vendors. To, I'm sourcing stuff for our home delivery, so it's really cool to have work hand in hand with other businesses. You know, like you feel really good. Like I've never been healthier, um, and I think people don't realize that necessarily. Like you don't need to have animal-based products to be super healthy, um, and you feel really good when you eat this way, both like inside and out. That's all the time we have for this week's Cheap Eats. Be sure to check us out next week, Tuesday, to see where we're at next. That looks really fun. I wish I had gone to that. I don't know where I was that weekend that I couldn't go. Well, so that's like was, right up my alley. It was this past weekend. Oh, what was I doing? I don't know. Oh, I was dog sitting. Oh, that's right. That's, that's right. right. And it was also really cold, so I refused to leave my house. That's true. It was the bitter. <laughs> it was the bitter cold weekend. But you know, most of the items are less than fifty dollars. Fifteen. One five. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's which great. is amazing. And I mean, all those people have basically been on our show before. Yeah, we know how good it is. So <laughs> yeah, we no always excuse. remember when I went through my vegan phase. Yeah, me too. Exactly. She, you almost <laughs> turned me into one, and then you I like, did. That was going to be like the change of the century if you became vegan. That would have been big breaking. News. Yeah, breaking story. Yeah, yeah, that would be like historic. Yeah. But you caved, and now you're eating eat. meat. Yeah. Eating everything, really. <laughs> Everything under the sun. Everything and nothing all at the same time. That's right. Well, on the next Studio 10, Kyle's leave with his bag with some of his expert real estate advice, of course. Plus, a local artist talks about his marketplace that helps local artists and vendors connect with the community. That's so cool. And also, I mean, these flowers look incredible. Look what just showed up for us. Oh, oh I love these. I expect to bloom back. Yeah, I mean, does this scream Rosie Woods or what? I totally, <laughs> yes. Pink a little roses. over the top, a little, a little pink. A little pink. I love that. A little rosy. I love it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.